Good morning, Centerville, and welcome to the Coffee at the Continental Show. We're here to get you up and on the go. So come on down and have an espresso or a simple little cup of joe and watch the Coffee at the Continental Show. Good morning, Centerville. Good morning, good day, good latte. Yeah. Good morning, Centerville, Iowa. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, and trick or treat is over. Yep. A uh, lot, a lot of candy handed out last night, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot of. What's a lot? What's a lot, a lot of? <laughs> I don't know. Lottie Donna. Lottie what? <laughs> uh, yeah, and Malia came home with a ton of candy. Oh, I bet. Ton, ton, ton. And I'm sure all the kids in Centerville did real well this mm -hmm. year. They've got that two hour window, they've got to race around. Mm -hmm. Thank I God we didn't have that. <laughs> God. Lucky. Basically, we just started at dark and finished when we finished. People turned their lights off. They didn't have any more candy. Yeah, we, I was I was walking with a couple of my friends, and uh, we were walking past my house because I had gone to their. Wait, house. how old are you? Fifteen. And you were trick or treating? I was walking with one of my friends. He was taking his little brothers around. Uh huh. Uh, but anyway, we were we were walking past my house. And I looked and I saw that my mom had accidentally left the back porch light on. And so I texted her and I said, did you, did you remember to turn the back porch light off? And then right when the, they, she received the text, I had him run up and knock on the door. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah. Uh, she's a real trick-or-treat pooper then. Yeah. What, she didn't hand off candy? She didn't, she didn't have any. She didn't have any? She didn't have any. Well, you have to buy it. Yeah. For, so when the trick or treaters come, you have it. Yeah. Okay. Well, we didn't either. <laughs> uh, of course, uh, Lindsay took Malia trick or treating. We <clears throat> we aren't the type of people that bring our one year olds out trick or treating because it's pretty obvious that they're not going to eat the candy. So you know that's 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 a big cop out the way parents go out and get themselves free candy by bringing their babies around, <laughs> which I think is pretty ridiculous. If you're one of those people, you're pretty ridiculous. Uh, not to mention, you know, it's cold and it's the big, big germ night. Yeah. Big, big germ night. Like for catching colds and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. All these kids touching doorknobs and whatever else. So, who cares, really? We should move on, right? Yeah. 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 All okay. was yesterday. We're living yeah, in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Celeb Web, uh, that is pretty funny. Uh, was reported on Radar Online that Charlie Sheen will die this week. Uh, one of his close, close friends said he's going to die this weekend. He has been partying and like prostitutes and coke and all this stuff, even after New York when he got back to L.A. Like it even got worse and worse and worse. Well, his manager actually, and I don't even know if this is true, but his manager said, I was so concerned after reading Radar Online. Okay, so his manager was reading Radar Online. <laughs> Um, that I went over to his house and he was just watching football, watching Brett Favre get beat up by New England. And that was it. He was like, dude, why didn't you knock or something? He's like, well, I was concerned. So, um, but you know, that was on Sunday. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I really, really, who cares? So like he, so like he then had to email E! Online and say, hey man, like Radar Online is, is telling false stories. I want you guys to have the exclusive story that he's okay, everything's fine, he's gonna be at work on Tuesday. He'll be back to work on Tuesday. So, like, I, I doubt any of that's true. Yeah. I, I doubt Charlie Sheen's manager is taking time out of his busy day to check Radar, Radar, Radar Online, Online, run over to Charlie Sheen's house to make sure nothing's going on, then run back home and email E! Online yeah. to tell them, I think you guys are all nuts. Like, really. Nuts. Crazy. Crazy people. Like, yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he's fine. He'll be back to work on Tuesday. There's, there's nothing going on, seriously. And um, we don't even know if that's true, because I don't think the guy ever sent anybody an email, never went to his house, or, yeah. Probably not. Okay, but so, then, Fort Worth, Texas. Did you hear about this, the, the wedding? <clears throat> no. Yeah, so Tiffany Essel and Sean Berenger were married. Um, at Hangman's House of Horrors, and their wedding theme, Beetlejuice. They had like oh, the awesome. Beetlejuice wedding. That is so cool. At a haunted house in Fort Worth, Hangman's House of Horrors. And now what's really cool is the Hangman's House of Horrors is like a non-profit deal. Mm. Yeah, and they're like affiliated with all kinds of cool stuff. So awesome. that's really, really cool. Um, and I was pretty excited to kind of read about that because like, 
I mean, that'd probably be something me and Lindsay would do if we ever did it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh. it would, I, we've already talked about getting married on Halloween, so, like, yeah. that's one thing that we've already discussed. Uh, but that, that's going to happen, <laughs> right? Yeah. Who knows? However, we did have sex last night. Oh, yeah. And I did not initiate this. So she might not be watching the show. However, I don't know. So we'll have to see what, what happens with that. Now, if this is just a holiday thing, I'm, actually, it might be a good thing for me because, I mean, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. And then Christmas. Then Christmas. Then her birthday. Then my birthday. So I might, you know, this might be a good thing. However, if it's not, you know, we'll, we'll just have to find out. We'll wait and see. We'll keep you, we'll keep you uh, updated on that one. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I don't know if she'll watch the show this week. She never watched the show last week. So she never found out that she was No, she never knew she was a member in the spotlight. That's fantastic. But, I don't know. She kind of made up for it last night. I even asked her, like, is this just a Halloween thing? Or, like, <laughs> so, this is terrible. We really shouldn't be talking about this on the show. Why not? People, that's what people want to know. No, I want to know about my sex life. Probably not. What else we have? Jeff, can you go over to the counter there and get a couple things off the counter there for us to talk about, please? Head over there to the counter there. There's a couple pieces of paper. I want you to grab them both. This? Yeah, that's, and there should be something else. Uh, Guess not. Not seeing anything else. All right, well, there was something else, but apparently they've done away with it. under this. But it's not under there? It's not on the back of it? Okay. I, I'm guessing most of you have seen this around town, maybe in shop, Windows or stuff, and we're really excited about this. This is a CHS Drama Presents School House Rock. Now, is the drama department actually doing the show? Yeah. So they're in it? Yeah. Why aren't you in it then? Because I decided to focus on grades this year instead of having play practice to worry about going to every night. Oh, well, la di da I'm, I'm proud of you, Jeff. Very proud of you. So this is pretty cool. It's November 5th and 6th, 7.30 p.m., Simon Estes Auditorium. Uh, admission for adults is five and students are three. So uh, Lindsay can get in for three bucks. She's a student. Yeah. At the, at the, the University of Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she's not going to go. Uh, but you're going to go. <laughs> yeah. With video camera. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because I'll be working. And the 6th, I'll be at a Halloween party myself. So... Uh, Halloween party on November 6th? That's yes. Bad. Yes, it's actually an uh, annual party. Uh, Big Bash up in Albia and Strange Dreams is playing. So I'll be able to hang out with Tanya and chill and have a good time. I'm really excited about that. Because, you know, any time you get a chance to see Strange Dreams, you know, come on. That girl rocks. So, um, uh, as far, you know, you know, she doesn't even know what her, she hasn't been able to figure out a costume, Tanya. So she said she's going to go naked. She's going to do the naked thing. So she's going to, the lead singer of Strange Dreams will be naked at the party. So I, I suggest if, if you um, have the inside scoop on this party, and I do not, because I'm not allowed to give it. Okay, so I lied. I just don't have it. But if you know where the party is in Albia that I'm going to, you can go there and hang out with us and Naked Tanya Smith. That's her last name, isn't it? Tanya Smith? You don't know her last name? Well, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, man. <laughs> Schoolhouse Rock, ladies and gentlemen, and Jeff's going to be there, I believe, on the 5th. Yeah, I'll be, so I'll be on the 5th. So do the first night. That way, if he screws it up, he's got another shot at it on the 6th. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I need that extra chance. Now, you might want to try doing it from upstairs. I don't know if that's the best place. I still think downstairs is the best place in the back. There is power back there, but it's over to your left. I don't know if there's power in the little ticket window thing there where that door is behind there, but if there is, you might be able to get in there. You are going to need power, I believe. I don't know how long this is. Um, you mo usually the play is only like an hour or an hour 15 minutes at the max. You might barely make it. If you run out at the end and you're not near power, you're going to be really bumming, dude. I'm going to be sad panda. Yes. So, but just remember, the, the one cool thing about this is, is that it is the 5th and the 6th. So not only does Centerville have a chance if they're doing something on Friday, they can get out there Saturday or vice versa. Um, if you miss the end of it, your battery dies, you can go the next night. And get the end of it. <laughs> make sure you get a little more than what you need so that yeah. way we can splice it in somewhere. Yeah. Great thing about video. Yeah. Great, great thing. Yeah. Uh, so awesome, awesome, moving right along. I I'm really excited about that. I'm really upset that I'm going to miss it live. That's too bad. 
It's okay, Doug. It's I'll get it on video for you. And I can't uh, really make the Saturday night one because of the prior engagement to the, of the party. Yep. So, oh well. Oh well. Um, yeah, so that's cool. The Pitt Sports Show will be Wednesday night at Hy-Vee as usual, so definitely want to get out there and check that out, Centerville. Uh, they've got some great, great deals going on during the show, like some pretty much giveaway items, you oh, know? Awesome. Uh, so that's really cool, and I don't really know exactly what, what's going to be on special. Me either. Maybe. You know, I don't think you really are supposed to know until the show. Dog food, cat food. Maybe. Yeah. Possibly. Light bulbs. <laughs> probably get some light bulbs. Yeah, probably. Maybe. Um, uh, don't forget, uh, Apple News County Weekly Meals tonight at Faith, is it? Faith United Methodist Church. It is tonight, and I don't even have it on our script, do I? Nope. I do not. Uh, it's I was not on the press I, page. I was looking for it. I did not see it, so I mentioned it. You know why? I, I, I don't know why. Uh, yes, and it is <laughs> 5 to 6.30. Huh? I, mean, I got to talk to the guy that writes the show. <laughs> He's really screwing this up. Yep. What the heck is he doing? The coffee today is chocolate, and it is fantastic. Yeah, it is amazing. Very good, right? Very, very good. Now, you also can have coffee and tea at Faith United Methodist Church with your dinner, uh, along with, uh, what do they have? Um, I don't know. Lemonade. Lemonade, something like that, Kool-Aid, it depends. Yeah, it's it was lemonade, but we went. Right. Or iced tea, I think, too. Yeah, you said that already, though. I said coffee and tea. I did not say cold tea or iced tea. Okay. When you when you say coffee and tea together, it's usually both warm tea. Yeah. yeah, okay. Pretty much. All right, so, but you can check that out uh, tonight at five to six thirty yep. or seven ish, uh, depending on the crowd and what's going on and how yep. much food is left. Yeah. So, very awesome home cooked meal down down there or up there or over there at South of Town. So, yep. we're depending on where you are. It could be down there or up there, there or, or over there. there or over there or down there. Yep. Business in the spotlight: Pettit Plumbing and Heating. I thought that was kind of a. Uh, of a good one to do because it's November and if your heat's not working, you definitely want to give John a call. Yep. Uh, Pettit Plumbing and Heat. Pettit, Pettit Plumbing and Heating is located right here in Centerville. Phone number six four one eight five six three four four eight. And uh, you can also check them out right here on InCentervilleIowa.com if you happen to be on InCentervilleIowa.com when you watch this morning show, uh, just by clicking on the businesses tab. Yep. And we actually would have to, we need to change our header this morning. We still have the October header up for breast cancer awareness, and that this morning should change. Well, people should, we, people, people should be as, as, as aware uh, as much. Uh, you give them an extra day of awareness? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we're giving you an extra day of awareness, but when I get back to the house this morning and while the, the show is in post-production, we'll, we'll get that taken care of yep. for you. Um, I'm still think, toying around with, uh, with a new design that I'm thinking about for, the, for ICI. Very cool. So we'll see what happens with that since I'm very limited on time these days. Member in the spotlight is Mary. Uh, Mary is a real person, not a robot, and she joined a couple days ago, I believe. So thank you very much for joining ICI, Mary, and having, registering an account. Uh, hope you enjoy the show. Yeah, enjoy the website and yeah. all that jazz. Yeah. Jazz, jazz, jazz. Yes. All right, Centerville, remember, if you ever uh, are wondering what to do, you're in a situation and you really don't know what to do, well, think, what would Doug Side do? And do the opposite. And probably things will work out really well for you. Probably. Yep. yep. Jeff, safety tip. Uh, my safety tip of the day is do not try to change the light bulb on a lamp while the lamp is on. And what if it's been on for just a second or two? Then it's probably still a bad idea because there's a chance of electrocution. And if it's been on for like a minute or more, then it could burn you. It could burn you? It could burn you. Really? The light bulbs get really hot. They do. Really fast. Hot light bulbs. Um, how many light bulbs does it take to change your brain? That made no sense. Okay. Well, Centerville, we love you. We will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. And, uh, yeah, we'll be here. Same time, same place, same dates. Yeah, yeah, like that. Love you, Centerville. See ya. I'm bad show. Yeah, good show. Yeah, good, good show. Except for... Talking about your sex life. So what? <laughs> well, just because you don't have a sex life. <laughs>